Hey what's up guys, it's the Weekly Random and in this video we're going to be looking at some powerful pictures to tell the story. Most of these pictures are really sad but thankfully some of them have a really happy ending. Make sure you comment which picture you think has the most powerful story. And while you're at that, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's aim for about 10 likes in this video cause that will be absolutely amazing. First off is the fateful dog. This picture was taken after the horrible, horrible floods and landslides which swept Brazil in 2011. In this picture, we can see the Brazilian dog, Leo, laying beside the final resting place of his owner, Cristina. Cristina had just died due to landslides in Brazil. Leo laid beside her grave for two whole days without leaving to eat, drink or do anything. This photo absolutely blew up when it came out. It showed the whole world the true true meaning of loyalty. Next up we have heart surgery. This photo shows how difficult, gruesome and tedious early heart transplant surgeries were. It was taken in 1987 by an American photographer. In it, we can see Dr. Religa monitoring his patient's vitals after conducting the 23-hour surgery. This surgery was the first successful heart transplant. In At the corner, you can see Dr. Religa's associate sleeping due to how long the surgery was. The surgery was so successful that the patient on the table is still alive today, outliving Dr. Religa. Wow, talk about the amazing miracles of modern-day medicine. Next is religious tensions. After the 2011 suicide bombing in Alexandria, Egypt, where numerous Christians were sadly killed, some Coptic Christians decided to gather around the Tahir Square in Egypt to protect some Muslims while they prayed. This was to prevent them from being attacked as a radical Muslim group was already blamed for the suicide bombing. A few days later, the Muslims kindly returned the favor and protected the Christians while they had their mass in the church. Coming up next is Greg and Coco. Yes, I know, I know, another dog picture, but really, who can get tired of dogs? Who doesn't love dogs? Well, Greg returned from work five minutes after a tornado had just hit his house in Alabama. About half of his house was completely destroyed. When he arrived home, he didn't care about any of the rubble. All he cared about was if his dog, Coco, was safe. He began searching the rubble for Coco but didn't find her for quite a while. He was really scared that the tornado had blown Coco away because Coco was an outdoor dog. He eventually found Coco in the bathroom as the tornado had blown Coco through the kitchen window into the bathroom. He quickly grabbed Coco, ran outside with her and gave her a massive massive hug. That was when the picture was taken. Greg had adopted Coco about 3 years early as she was a stray. The moment was so intense for Greg that he didn't know the picture was taken until about 3 days later when he saw it on the papers and people were telling him. This picture has a sweet sour ending because Greg and his girlfriend couldn't leave their half destroyed house but fortunately Coco was safe. Alright, before we go on, if you aren't already subscribed, please scroll down, smash the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, hit the like button and tell me if you subscribed in the comments below. Next up is a really 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 sad one. It's a picture of Yang the Yu. It's a photo that shows Yang the Yu, a 29 year old, as he holds his face while he cries and rain falls on him on the remnants of his now decimated home after a cyclone hits his hometown, killing about a hundred thousand people and leaving numerous numerous people homeless. This is another sad one. It's a photo that was taken in 1980 and it shows a missionary holding the hand of a starving Ugandan child. At first glance you wish and imagine that it's not a human hand but once you look properly you see that it's a human child's hand. It truly shows the differences in the level of poverty around the world. Next up is Grave with the Little Hands. Now this is a story of true love. A colonel and his wife in the Netherlands showed how love truly prevails all. The colonel was a protestant while his wife 
was Catholic. In the 19th century, a Protestant and a Catholic getting married was seen as an absolute taboo. When the Cardinal died, he was buried in the Protestant part of the cemetery, right beside the wall. His wife died about 8 years later and decided to be buried on the exact opposite side that her husband was buried. She refused to be buried on her noble family plot. Upon her death, a magical tombstone was created, connecting her and her husband's graves together. The tombstone has two hands shaking each other, proving that their love prevails from the grave beyond. Next up is a really, really, really sad one, probably the saddest on the whole list. It's a picture taken at an absolutely sad moment in time, and it has a really sad ending. It's a picture of Diego a young Brazilian who was brought out of poverty by his teacher. His teacher taught him how to play the violin, taught him in school and brought him out of poverty and the violence in his area. Diego is seen playing the violin at that teacher's funeral, a pretty sad event. And unfortunately, Diego passed away due to an infection after an appendectomy. Next up is Ginger. I promise guys, this is the last dog picture in this list. Make sure you type dog in the comment section for good luck. Zanjir the dog or Ginger was a Labrador Golden Retriever which was an Indian patriot. He was a police dog trained in the art of bomb detection. He helped prevent numerous bombings during the 1993 Mumbai bombings. He also helped recover numerous country made bombs, military bombs and patrol bombs saving numerous lives. Unfortunately for Ginger, he died in 2000 after developing bone cancer. This picture was taken during his honorary burial which truly and most definitely deserve. Finally on the list we have Jewish liberation. This was taken deep in the hearts of Nazi Germany as American soldiers liberated hundreds of Holocaust survivors from the Nazi death train. This was a truly amazing act by the American soldiers. The survivors were reunited with their saviors just recently by the author who wrote a book about the liberations that occurred during the Holocaust. This picture has a truly happy and amazing ending. Alright guys, that's all for this video. Make sure you leave a like and comment which picture you found to be the most powerful. And also, feel free to watch all my other videos. I'll leave a playlist just for you. And of course, subscribe if you haven't. See you later.